Chelsea lost to Middlesbrough. I told you guys, this is not going to be a giveaway. People were angry at me today. Oh my god, we should have standards. It's mandatory we win this game. No, Middlesbrough won Chelsea nil because Chelsea are absolutely trash. The fact of the matter is, Chelsea and the Maurizio Pochettino are trash. Don't tell me otherwise. Why are they trash? Because we've got a manager that can't coach a team, we've got players that need coaching, and we've got an all institution that at this moment in time has favoritism. Gallagher has to play every minute. All of you right now in the comments below before you leave, right, and get annoyed and say you have an agenda. What does Gallagher offer this team apart from running? What does Gallagher offer? This performance today is not only Gallagher's fault before all of you start, but the, in, the team was prophetic today. I am genuinely fuming. The good, the bad, and the downright ugly will get covered in this. I am gonna run because I am fuming that we're in a semi-final. He, yesterday, in a press conference, clearly stipulated we can't have a performance like we did against Preston for 45 minutes. We had it for 90. We had it for fucking 90 minutes. And it was pathetic. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you're newer to this channel. And more importantly, what did you not think about today's performance? Let's get into it. Let's talk about the ugly because that's where we need to start. The reality is... The misprofile then needs to stop. Colwell made his name at centre back. Colwell is in this squad because he's a centre back. If you can't play him at centre back, I don't want to see him at the left back. You have Williams, who's a kid and can play at left back. Just play the kid. For the f fact that the matter is, the game kicks off. First minute. The instincts of Levi Colwell as a centre back is a lot closer to the keeper, his stupid header, and all of a sudden we're in trouble, this sassy should give a penalty away. That is misprofiling. Yes, the players make mistakes, but they are not known to play in that position. He needs to stop. Pochettino needs to get a grip because the reality is he should get sacked after today's performance because this is back to back 45 minutes and 90 minutes of play where we have been pathetic under Maurizio Pochettino against championship sides. Then let's talk about the plan, all right? Everybody told me, Alex, you were being a little bit negative the other day. You can't be a little bit negative. We won 4-0. Well, what happens when we get the ball? I'll wait. Genuinely, I will wait. I will wait to hear from every single one of you what happens when we have the ball. De Sassi to Silva, Silva to Sassi, Colwell back, 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 back. Full defense, five at the back, three in front, one in there, one more. We literally do nothing. We don't create anything, and the only chances that we do get is through unforced errors. Not even forced errors. We don't press, nor do we create. I am tired of watching good players underperform because they're not given the correct instructions. And people do not think I am exaggerating. Enzo Fernandez in the false nine position. Enzo Fernandez was false nine. This is criminal. It is beyond criminal. I don't understand what he is trying to do. Then, let's get into the terrible substitutions. After the game, right, after the first half, what happened? There was a little bit of a spark. We're going to call it a spark. Noni Madueke picking up the ball, trying to make things happen. Taking his man on, one on one. Actually being a proactive winger. And I respect it. I like it. Enzo getting into nice pockets, picking up the ball, we're progressing the ball up, puts a good cross in, nada. Absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing's coming from it. What's he doing? Don't worry, we're going to do some subs. He's taking off Enzo and Noni. He took off Enzo and Noni. I genuinely threw something at my computer. I'm watching the game, I threw something on my computer. I, I'm telling you this pen got dashed because I can't believe what he is doing. It is gross misconduct how he is favoritizing some players. Gallagher, what does Gallagher offer in this team? I swear, all of you, every time in the last eight weeks he's had a bad game, I've called it out. This is the response I get. You've been waiting to, for one game to have a go at him. Well, darn right I've been waiting for one game because I do it every week. From what planet is Gallagher a Chelsea football club player? Explain to me. With words, apart from running, what does Conor Gallagher offer this team? He can't defend, he can't mark players, he can't take man on, he can't receive the ball in the half space. What does Conor Gallagher offer? I am angry today. What does he offer this team? He took him off and we had no midfield. We had Moises Caicedo running like he's about to get cardiac arrest because he's running for three men. What are we doing here as an institution? 
Sell Gallagher now, man. I don't care if you sell him for 30 million pounds. I don't need him in my club because Poch will continuously keep using this idiot in the middle of the field. It is beyond ridiculous how Conor Gallagher continues to play 90 minutes for this football club. Raheem Sterling on the other side. How are you taking Nonny off and you're not taking Raheem off after this performance? Raheem with time is clueless. He runs around like he's Donald Duck, not knowing what he's going to do. Genuinely, he is so confused every time he receives the ball. He doesn't know what he's going to do. You're an experienced player. I expect better from you. This performance should not be happening from an experienced player. I'm dead serious. Yet people are going to tell me, Alex, you've been a little bit negative, man. You've been so negative. No, I'm not being negative. This is honest truth that we need to talk about. Then the bad. The sassy and silver. The sassy and silver. What the hell was that? For the first goal, silver's jogging back. Big man, where are you jogging back from? Levi Colwell makes a mistake, I understand that, all right? Mistakes happen, especially when you're young players, mistakes happen. But you know what, he recovered. He got up, he was already on the yellow, he couldn't bring him back, he literally got his L, all right, cross comes in. Silver's jogging, I understand you're 39 years old, but big man, you're playing in a semi-final. At least give me some urgency. At least give me some character. Cool, Caicedo lets his man go, and that's it, one nil. De Sassi. De Sassi does not belong at championship level, let alone Premier League level at this moment in time. Against Preston, shaky. Today, shaky. Every single time, shaky. What are we seeing here? Passing range not on. Overly physical with the uh, strikers, losing the battles. Trying to pass out the uh, long, can't do it. Short, can't do it. Can't track his man. First minute, could have easily got sent off with a reckless sliding tackle. I understand he was put in a situation, but use your brain, man. Horrible defending from both of them. Paul Palmer. Big man, you've had three opportunities that you should have scored. One opportunity when you took a pot shot. What happened? The first pot shot. Okay, cool. You're testing the keeper's gloves. Second one. Unforced error. You're going through. I expect you to hit the target. Just why? Then Enzo takes a shot, fumbles up the keeper's hands. You're three yards out. He misses it. Over loops it. Just get it with your studs. Get it with your knee. That's a goal. Then he can't sit on his left foot. Gives Keeper another opportunity to save it. Like, we literally look toothless. Another bad. What the hell is this false nine nonsense, man? Broya scores a goal, and now Broya has some confidence. You put him on the bench. And if you put Broya on the fucking bench, then why the hell is Washington not start? You paid 17 million pounds of add-ons on this kid. Why is he not getting a start? How bad must this kid be? And he's not bad because we saw him. We saw him against Preston. He looked competent. He looked like he wanted to run around. He looked like every time he got a chance, he could link up play a little bit. We saw him. Yet, you religiously Pochettino play the same trash against Middlesbrough. You play the same trash against uh, Preston. The same players get ch chance after chance after chance. Yet the players that deserve one or two chances never get a chance. I am tired of seeing this. Yao Stal. Yao Stal. Genuinely, I am tired. I'm going to start speaking Russian at times because I'm genuinely tired. Pochettino is not competent enough to manage a team that is on the ball trying to break down low blocks. He couldn't do it with Messi, Neymar and Mbappe. You think he's going to do it with Nonny, Palmer and Sterling? I am so dead. The positives from today. Let me try and be a little bit optimistic. Moises Caicedo kept us in the tie. I tell you Moises Caicedo ran around for the love of God and was putting out fires. In another fire uh, life, he was a firefighter. If any of you watch Station 19, he was on the team. He is on that team and absolutely putting out fires left, right and centre. Because it is criminal what they're asking this man to do. This man is... Putting out fires for three people. Nonny ain't doing nothing, uh, uh, not Nonny. Um, Gallagher ain't doing nothing in that midfield. Cole Palmer ain't running back, he's the number ten. You got Caicedo put in a, on a midfield island by himself. Get the plane ready. Okay, cool. I'll play out the back by myself. Where, who do I pass to? Who do I pass to? This is him. I swear to God, just watch. Watch Caicedo. Constantly on the swivel. Who am I passing to? Because everyone's 40, 50 yards away. He's gone from McAllister being on his ass 5 metres away, with Gross being 8 metres away, to all of a sudden being 80 and 50 metres away. He can't pass the ball to Gallagher because Gallagher can only use his right foot. Only use his right foot. This is embarrassing. And the other good, Enzo and Noni actually had a reaction in the second half. Other than that, I've got no positives. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, let me know your thoughts. I am genuinely pissed off.